Philip Ingram is a former British intelligence colonel and joins me now from London to discuss the story. Hi there, Philip. Welcome to the news hour. Realis nice realistically speaking, surely no side in this conflict would want to see a nuclear incident that would have massive ramifications here. No side really does want to see a nuclear incident. Um, if there is one, it will be deliberately orchestrated by the Russians. Um, however, with high explosives around in nuclear facilities, there's always a greater potential for an accident to happen. And that's what the biggest concern is here. Well, Russia has control of this power plant. They have had that for the last few months. And as part of its military strategy, would the Russians possibly turn that power plant into a military base, knowing that the Ukrainians would be unlikely to attack because of a broader nuclear incident? Oh, 100%. Um, and it's the other bit that is causing us to have these discussions now. It's sending a very clear message, not just to the Ukrainian government, but to the rest of the world, saying, look, we've got something that is very deadly and we know that can affect you outside the borders. Everyone remembers the fallout that came from the Chernobyl incident, and that's inside Ukraine. Um, and we're still suffering from that in many parts of the world. Uh, and Russia is using this as part of its wider information campaign to try and put pressure on Western governments who are maybe not as um, uh, firm in their support for Ukraine uh, and the Western all allegiances that are out there. Do you think such a campaign will work? Um, in isolation, no. Um, uh, but as a combination of lots of other little campaigns that are coming together, it will certainly influence the decision making of um, some of the international community who may not have the same sort of resolve as uh, the UK, the US and certain other European uh, countries. Uh, but um, you, whenever you've got uh, a nuclear power plant being used as a pawn in such a deadly conflict, um, it can only put uh, the rest of the world at, at a degree of danger. Is one of the possible solutions here a demilitarized zone around that power plant? Uh, it is, and, and the UN are quite right to call for it, but Russia will never do that. You know, they, they, they will come up with excuse after excuse after excuse to say they don't want that. They know that if they station military capabilities in around the power plant, the Ukrainians, knowing the consequences of what happened after Chernobyl, are not likely to attack into the plant, um, and therefore it's a safe base for them. Okay, Philip Ingram, thank you so much for your insight and your uh, thoughts on uh, what is a, a very uh, difficult uh, situation at the moment in Ukraine. Thank you so much.